Hey, hey, party people. Thank you very much for joining me on another episode of Fifi Plays Edna and Harvey, Harvey's New Eyes. So, in the last episode, Lily uh, joined a game of D&D &D with the group of people in the other room, the role-playing room, and she learned some unfortunate uh, things about her friends. I assumed that she already knew that she was killing everyone, but apparently she she didn't know, and now she knows, and then she got sick, and now we're here, and I don't really know where to go from here. So, I got a ghost costume, a knitting needle, and a ball of wool. Hmm, let's go see back at the role-playing room if they have anything to say. Sorry I ran off. Have you all played the game without me? You're certainly a brave warrioress. All of Hoth Motigor is in your debt. Well, thanks. That was fun! You really have to play with us again sometime! Yeah, that was fun. Except for the puking part. Druggle jug? You? It's so depressing. I'm supposed to award experience points to improve a talent. Expressive dance? Making music? Lock picking? I don't actually want to be able to do any of those things. Isn't there a talent such as accepting one's fate? Or assigning experience points without experiencing an existential crisis? Peter's dithering made Lily furious. Couldn't the notorious whiner make even the most basic decisions? Lily would have liked to smack him across the face, Damn, but girl. something held her back. The restriction! Uh... Oh! I've already unlocked it! Well, great! <laughs> Lily! Dang! Ouch! <sighs> You're right. I'll just increase pick locks, and that's it. Oh, great! There. Why don't you just hold on to the character sheet? I don't want anything to do with it anymore. Cool. Well, thanks for upping my lockpick skill, because now, maybe I can use this. I tried it at the end of the last episode, and it didn't work, because it said Lily didn't have the skills. Ah. What now? But Lily, what are you doing there? Don't you remember? You must not use sharp objects. Just don't touch it, okay? See you around. I mean, a knitting needle is hardly that sharp. Well, I guess it is, but all right, fine. I'll just switch back. And now I can use it unhindered. Lily decided to pick the lock using her sewing needle. And yet again, Lily proved her incompetence. Ah! What a shame. Lily wished she was as skilled as her new role-playing character. Well, maybe I can, maybe I can somehow go back to the D&D? &D? What do you think, Harvey? Oh, whoops. I don't know if I was supposed to do that. Alright, well... Okay, well, we're back here now. Ah, and but now we can cross. So we're in the D&D &D world. And everyone's dead. Lily was always happy when something was left over. But usually it was only breadcrumbs and bones and things like that. Cool. Well, I'll take that arrow. Can I go back down here? No, I can't. All right. What else is around here? Nothing. Lily had probably broken it. For good. Great. <gasps> oh, I the get it. The door was firmly locked. In this world, this is the gate. But in the other world, this is the the bars. So maybe I can. Did it work? It sounded crazy, but she now actually had the skill to pick locks. Aha! I was right. 
Come on. Done. Yeah. The gate was open. She wondered if... In the other world, the gate is probably open as well. Hooray! It was true. She'd opened the real gate during her trance. The path to the asylum's tower was now free. Somewhere in the dark uncertainty, there she would find her friend. Fantastic. Without really thinking about it, Lily took the stuffed rabbit with her. If she was going to enter Dr. Marcel's realm, she didn't want to do it alone, like she usually did. That's fair. Ooh. Where are we now? What an ugly boy. Why someone would put up a picture like that baffled Lily. I'll take it down then. Alright, let's go over here. Do not disturb. Please don't disturb. Well, Lily was an expert at that. She could stand on the sidelines for hours without anyone noticing her. This had to be Dr. Marcel's office. Lily thought she heard faint, raspy breathing behind the door. Cool. Well, we're going to avoid that for now. Ah, it's the phantom! Go back! Or not. He didn't see us. Or hear us. Okay. We gotta be sneaky. Portrait, Harvey, ghost. Okay. Uh... Oh, I got a bowling ball. Cool. How uh -oh. awkward. Lily had destroyed the termite farm. Whoopsie. Anything else I can touch? Hook. Mirror. Ah, that was the catch. What was the catch? Can I... The clothes rack reminded Lily of the old man from the school. Did that really happen today? Can I talk to him? Probably not a good idea. Leave me alone. I'm a hopeless case. Father was right. Yes, you heard correctly. I'm Reuben, Dr. Marcel's secret second son, Ooh. Alfred's older brother. Lily didn't know who Alfred was, but she still thought it was appropriate to catch her breath in shock. <laughs> we were supposed to have Same. the perfect upbringing. Pops thought traditional methods were inadequate. That's why he began developing his own, while Alfred responded to his practices. I developed conspicuous behavior. I was a failed experiment. Pops was so disappointed that he kept me in the asylum cellar, hidden from the outside world. Yikes. Alfred, on the other hand, was presented as a shining example of his parenting methods. I never had a chance to make him proud of me. Since Alfred died, everything just got worse. I'm invisible to him. A ghost, a bad dream. The strange circumstances surrounding Alfred's death showed him that childishness is a disease that needs to be eradicated. I should have died back then. If I could only see my brother one more time, I never got to say goodbye to him. Uh, well, here. Oh. It's him! <laughs> it's my brother, Alfred. Oh, Alfred. I still have so much to tell you. Okay, that's it. Awesome. Uh, the clothes right. rack reminded that really... A lunchbox. Somebody had left their lunchbox. That would never happen to Lily. She didn't have a lunchbox. That's fair. Honey pancakes. The smell of the honey pancakes reminded Lily of the funny story with the termites. Freeman. All right, well, maybe I can give these to the termites. Or hang it on the hook and get them to move over here. All right. Well, maybe if I leave and come back, the termites will have huh? Noteworthy. Aha! The termites scarfed all the pancakes and ate a hole through the door in the process. I'm a genius! But now there's a giant hole in the door. Uh... Hanging up the portrait of the ugly boy there would certainly be spooky. But something was missing. Something was missing, huh? 
Can I put the mirror back? I can. But I don't think that's the right answer, because it did say that I should be putting the portrait there. I'm gonna take that back. It said I should put the portrait here, but there's something missing. This bowling ball had a creepy expression, but not creepier than the little boys in the picture in the hallway. Hmm. <gasps> He's got keys on him. I didn't even see that. Or, the wait. phantom looked depressed, but Lily noticed something else. A key ring. Yeah. Was that the key to Edna's cell? Edna's cell? What? The door was firmly locked. I guess I have to get those keys. Interesting. Wait, I think I saw... I think I saw something. Can I do anything with this wallpaper? Nope. Can I... Oh. Lily could stare at the moon for hours, but she didn't like it. Terrible things tended to happen. Oh, wait a second! The beam and then the mirror. Can I hang this on the door? Lily understood the principle of locks and keys, even if it sometimes appeared otherwise. I'm trying to hang this on the nail so that it'll reflect the moon, but I guess that doesn't work. Hanging up the porch, but maybe I put the mirror back and then the thing. Hanging up the portrait of the butts. Something's still missing. All right. Uh, the clothes rack. Maybe put this here. As long as the clothes rack didn't have a head, the sheet only loosely hung on it. A head. Oh. It did say that this had an expression. On top of the clothes <laughs> rack, the bowling ball looked like a skull. But something was missing. Well, now I can put this on. Lily shuddered. Suddenly, there was a ghost in the storeroom. Oh, no. What's that? A ghost? It hey, ghost. listen here. If anybody's gonna do any haunting here, it's me. Beat it. If you see Alfred, <laughs> tell him to haunt round this way sometime. I never got to say goodbye to him. Okay. Well, now the phantom is crying. Uh... Oh man, I can't just put this here. I'm assuming that we somehow have to get... Use the mirror on this. Wait, what? Poor Trit. Eva. Harvey. Oh, what law? <laughs> that is really cool. It said all the things backwards because I attached it to the mirror. Anyway, okay, uh, let's try to focus here. Something is missing. Mirror, or maybe. Maybe I hang the portrait on the hook here? Something was hanging there. Oh, I had to take off the sign. Okay, I got it now. I had to move the sign, but now, now I can get the mirror. And now that's reflecting. Uh, and now I can hang this. What's that? <gasps> A ghost? I did it! Hey, listen here. If anyone's gonna be haunting around here, then... Wait, wait a minute. Alfred? It's Alfred, it's really you. I... I can't believe it. This feels oh, wrong. Alfred, I never got to say goodbye. <laughs> and I have so much I still want to tell you. Where to begin? Oh, yeah. I know. You lousy, dirty toad. Oh, my. Because of you, I've lived my whole life in a stinking sewer. Just you wait. He's already dead. Uh, okay, but you just keep that up. You dropped your keys. <laughs> okay, bye. Enjoy. Uh, you okay there, buddy? 
you disgusting, slimy toad! If you weren't dead already, I'd wring your neck now! Lily thought it was best not to disturb the phantom. It should take all the time it needs to say goodbye to its brother. Okay, uh, you have fun with that, I guess. <laughs> Weirdo. Uh, can I take the sign? No. Oh, but I got the keys! Now I can get to the office! Lily wanted to be very careful. Damn. It seemed that there was already a key in the keyhole on the other side of the door. What? Okay, well, maybe I have to go to a different room. Oh! I didn't even see this! Lily was certain. This had to be the cell that Edna was being held in. Okay, well, that's where we use the keys. I can't believe I didn't see that giant door. <gasps> Lily! Oh, thank goodness. What we were the... so worried that they had gotten you too. The doctor has completely lost his mind. He wants to turn us all into mindless puppets. Just look at what he's done to Mother Superior. Oh! That's Mother Superior? Hello, Lily. Nice to see you. But what are you doing here? In the middle of the night. Did the other students make you do this? They are such naughty children. You, on the other hand, were always so good. So good. I'm sorry that I was always so strict with you. But now, thanks to Dr. Marcel, I'm a good child too. Come, Lily. Sit down. You can help me. Embroider the dolls for the doctor. Just ignore her. I'd rather Please not. concentrate on finding a way to get us out of here. We have to split before the doctor. Ah! No! Uh oh. <laughs> I finally caught you. I was Jerk. hoping you'd show up here. I can use all the help I can get to speed up production of my hypnosis dolls. Soon, I'll be delivering them across the entire world. And then, naughty children will become the stuff of fairy tales. Once I've subjected you to my improved hypnotherapy, nothing can stop me. <laughs> Edna, I'm so glad to see you. Um, I'm so happy to see you, Lily. I give you a hug, but, oh well. This wool version of an HR Geiger nightmare is Sort of restricting my movements. Can we postpone this touching reunion scene until later? First, we need a plan for how to get down from here. Your mama needs a plan. My mother has a plan. For example, to convey me a sense of reality. What's your mother's plan? Oh, I forgot. You no longer have any parents. Yo. Oh, that's mean. That's low. Um, Why would you say that? What? Oh, Lily is right. <sighs> we should concentrate on getting out of here. I agreed. <coughs> Twit. <coughs> Edna and Garrett were tied up. Lily was on her own once again. Okay, what have we got? A Harvey doll and a ball of wood. A ball of wool. Whoa, that's a lot of stuff we can click. Lily hesitated. Usually she waited until Mother Superior was gone before she rummaged through the garbage. But Lily was running out of options. But what was that? Were they... eyes? Okay. Uh... Oh, a needle. I'll take that. And I can probably use this to... S it had already been sewn. Yeah, but can I unsew it? Maybe I need something sharper. Harvey's old eyes. Can I combine this with this? Lily had an idea. She knew she couldn't sew very well, but maybe it was good enough to give Harvey back his old eyes. However, something was missing to implement this plan. String! Oh, wait! Perfect. Aha. Lily now had a needle and thread. Great! Well, let's do it then. Lily, she, but maybe it was good. She made her first stitch. Lily hesitated. She'd often been told that she wasn't very good with the needle and thread. But what did she have to lose? She was just going to have to chance it. What are you doing? Stop that. You're hurting me. You must not use sharp objects. You have. You. Have. No. You have to scratch my fuzzy butt. 
I'm back! <laughs> I can hardly believe it! I'm my old self! <laughs> Harvey? Is it really you? <laughs> and there's... there's Edna! Come on! Go, go, go! Let's set fire to something! And fly to the moon! Just so we can eat it up! Go for it, Lily! What are you waiting for? Let's tear this joint apart! Yippee! Okay, I feel like I'm getting close to the end game now, so I saved. Um, how you doing? Um, uh, come, Lily. Sit down. You can help me. Embroider the dolls for the doctor. We are good little children. So good. It appeared that Mother Superior was under the influence of Dr. Marcel's hypnosis. That means she wouldn't be much help. Lily caught herself wishing the old, strict Mother Superior was back. Um. Well, maybe... Maybe I can help her break the blocks, just like I broke my restrictions. You must not contradict the doll. Dr. Marcel was planning to go into mass production. Clearly. Okay, well... Then maybe the old Harvey can help. You have to get us free, Lily. Yeah, I'm I working think on Mother it. Superior has a knife to cut the threads. Oh, really? Unfortunately, she can't use it while she's hypnotized. Could Lily help Mother Superior overcome her mental blocks this way? Yes. Shaking, she pulled the string. Oh, all three of us are going in. That's interesting. Okay. Hmm? Hey, Lily. You're here, too. Cool. What's that? Some kind of fight? Less talking, more fighting. Okay. Uh... Now it's your turn. Select one of your Harvey figures on the right side. Then an action from the list at the bottom left. And finally, where it should be executed. Read the instructions in the action window to decide which action you want to use. Each Harvey can normally move once each round, but be careful. Them there Harvey demons will put up a fight. Okay. Uh, let me just survey the chessboard. Okay, so I assume I have to somehow match each of these Harveys with what the block was. Because these are the blocks, and I had to unblock them to get these things. So, sorry, let me read the tutorial again. Now it's your turn. Select one of your Harvey figures on the right side, then an action from the list at the bottom left. And finally, where it should be executed. Read the instructions in the action window to decide which action you want to use. Each Harvey can normally move once each round, but be careful. Them there Harvey demons will put up a fight. Okay, let's just try this. I have to get... Dang it. The dragon. This was the sharp objects, and this was the dangerous places, I think. And what was this one? Alcohol? Okay, so I'm gonna choose this one. And get the genie. Did I do it? Um. Ah, location Harvey.
Oh no, I can only use them once? Oh shoot. You won! Yippee! No, it can't be, you damn rabbit! You were supposed to make sure she would stick to the rules! She can't just do whatever she wants! Of course! Riot! But we <laughs> need rules! Otherwise... Otherwise... <laughs> Hooray, I did it! I know, I cheated. But that was gonna take way too long and I couldn't figure it out, and there was combinations and all that stuff. So, um, I'm almost done with the story, so I just wanted to get it over with. Mother. Oh no, what'd she say? Uh-oh, I forgot, I, I skipped it. Lily had often seen Mother Superior desperate, but never crying. Uh, here, it's okay. <laughs> Oh, isn't that cute? Do you think I could hold it? Mm. But, 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 Lily, what are you up to? Do you really want to give me to Mother Superior? I mean, she could do with a bit of pizzazz in her life, from the looks of it. But I thought the two of us are friends. We could try so many things. Come on, let's light a few things on fire. Or talk with Edna. Or build something crazy out of different stuff. Or, or... Do you really want to give me the Mother Superior? Okay, um... I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna save here because I feel like this is really... Whew! I... Don't know if I can still make wrong choices at this point in the game, but let's see. Uh... Yes, I do want to give her the rabbit. Uh huh. Really? Really? Uh huh. Just for a little uh, while. I'm not giving oh, it to her forever. Really? <sighs> How can I ever make this up to you? I'm sure Give me the you knife. want something to make up for it, don't you? <laughs> Unfortunately, this knife is all I have. Do you think it would be enough? Uh-huh. Wonderful. Oh, thanks for everything, Lily. Well done. If you carry on like this, I can imagine hiring you as a deputy someday. Or I could hire you as a cosmonaut's assistant, which is even cooler than a deputy. Whatever. Just please, cut us loose, fast. Then we'll figure it out. I've already come up with a plan. I'm sure you know the story of the girl who ran away from Dr. Marcel's asylum long ago? The same girl that pushed him down the stairs that same night? Well, I never told you this, but that girl was me. What that a surprise. Yeah. And that's why I know my way around here so well. Behind the cushion over there is the famous ventilation shaft that I used for my escape back then. We'll be free in no time at all. We'll have to get past Dr. Marcel's office first, but, um, Lily? Is something wrong? Come on, Lily. Cut us loose. Uh -uh. No. What's going on? You're not going to do something stupid, are you? Lily, where are you going? Lily! Lily! Uh-oh. Is Lily seriously gonna kill him? I mean, she's killed a lot of people in this game, so it wouldn't be that far-fetched. Alright, aim for the head, Lily. Are you sure that's what you want to do? Yes. <laughs> Excellent. I knew right away that you're dangerous. The other children... Those were accidents. But now... You're here with a sharp knife, ready to kill a helpless old man. You're not you helpless. You might feel well, but the truth is, you're sick. Very sick. You need my help. 
You don't believe me, do you? You think you're doing all this for Edna's sake? Yeah, she's oh, her girlfriend. Lily. There's something you should know about your friend. She doesn't exist. There was a girl what? called Edna once. You probably once heard about her, but the girl that you know is nothing more than a figment of your imagination. What? An attempt to escape your friendless life at the That's convent. Impossible. You think I'm lying, right? Because there's someone else who can also see Edna. Yeah, Garrett. Let me guess. A priest, perhaps? No, a policeman, right? The manifestation of a higher authority. When you thought that Edna was in danger, your subconscious invented him, too, to legitimize what? defying that Mother Superior's rules and helping your friend. Just ask her yourself. They're here. They're a part of you, Lily. Oh, Lily. I'm sorry. What? The doctor's it's right, not Lily. True. You're just imagining us. Now put the knife away. The game is over. Wonderful. <laughs> Finally, you see the truth. All the reasons that brought you here in the middle of the night, armed with a knife. None of them were real. Now put the knife on the desk. I'll hypnotize you immediately. Only my therapy can heal you. Unfortunately, he's right, Lily. Don't do it. Put the knife away, Lily. Be a good girl and do what you're told. Lily was close to tears. It's not She'd true. only just learned not to always do what she's told. And now it was supposed to be all wrong? While the others were talking to her, another voice kept getting louder. A voice that told her, Continue. Continue. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Put the knife away. Do what you're told. Okay, wait a second. That... It can't be. Mother Superior was talking about Edna and Garrett, too, right? She's alive. And the others in the convent, I'm trying to remember. Oh my god. Set aside the knife, stab, or contradict. Oh my god. All this time? No, you're wrong. This- it, you can't! No! Stop! Oh. Shut up already! Very good, Lily. Let him have it. That goes for everyone! Woo. You've just been bossing me around this whole time! Lily, do this! Lily, do that! But get this! I'm not your lap dog! Woo. And you, Doc? If you want to hypnotize me, You'll have to learn how to walk first! Damn. Because that's what I'm gonna do now! Your therapy is garbage! Why don't you worry about yourself, Grandpa? Lily kept wailing until she was hoarse. Finally, exhausted yet relieved, she started heading back. For the first time in her life, she was doing what she herself thought was right. Maybe this wasn't the happy end you were expecting, but the moral of the story- and you shut up too! There's no moral here! Got it? The end! Wow! Lily freaking snapped! Oh man, I'm so glad that we got to hear her voice though, and she actually stood up for herself. But wait, does that mean it was- he was telling the truth? Edna was dead? She was just fake the whole time? Well, then- that-
Oh man, I was assuming that there was going to be a uh, after credit scene, but I guess not. Wow. So Edna was dead. Then how the heck did Lily imagine her in the first place? That I'm I'm a little bit upset. Like, this whole game was to try to protect Edna, and it turns out that it was all pointless. So this game was kind of pointless. Um, I mean, I guess I'm glad that Lily was able to stand up for herself at the end. But now where's she gonna go? Mother Superior is crazy. I shouldn't say that. Mother Superior was broken. Everyone at the convent is dead. Lily has no parents, I assume. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll look up if there's a sequel to this game. Because I'm not done with this series. I mean, <laughs> why did they leave it so open-ended? That was so... Ugh. Alright, well, that was the game. Edna and Harvey, Harvey's new eyes. Whew. I might need to take a, a while to uh, process all that, but I hope you all enjoyed. And I guess this is the end of the series, so I will see you in the next game. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Mwah.